YouTube. What's going on? Today I wanted to talk about um and kick. <laughs> Today I wanted to talk about um honestly. Can you live your dreams? And I think it's a serious talk that we kind of gotta have. Because the cold hard truth is, of course you can. You can live your dreams. What are your dreams though? I think that's what comes into question when it comes to living our dreams. Some people's dreams may be to ri be rich. Some people's dreams may be to run their grandfather's farm. You know, some people just want to live a normal, boring life. You know, even for a person like myself, most days I don't really pray for a lot. I just want peace, you know? And if money brings peace, I'm cool with that. But you know, after the things that have happened with me in my life and the things that I had to go through this last year, I just want peace in my life. I don't really, and I think that, I think that's where we all got to get to. Can we be peaceful with what we got? Like I said, as you're looking at these beautiful houses and all these kind of things, I once again don't think if you have a dream of being rich, there's nothing wrong with that. Now, why do you want to be rich? This is where the dream stuff starts to really come in. Do you want to be rich so you can promote yourself? Do you want to be rich so you can flash to people how much money you got because you grew up poor? Are you wanting to be validated by other people? Let me fix that. If that is the case, I would say that'd be a hard dream. Oh, one second. So if your dream is to truly just I'm gonna turn it off if your dream is to truly just be a person who wants to get rich to validate yourself or stuff like that i would say that living that dream is gonna be hard because that dream is gonna quickly turn into a nightmare um and also honestly let's be honest with ourselves to be to live out your dream you're gonna have to be realistic you know i know some people really do think that being a millionaire they want to be a millionaire that is a realistic dream but it isn't a realistic dream for everybody okay it shouldn't be a realistic dream for for everybody because if it was then being a millionaire wouldn't be a dream if everybody could make a million everybody would make a million but it's not always a realistic dream some things have to go in your favor you have to have skills you have to be born with a certain uh intelligence you're gonna have to be born with a certain emotional um intelligence as well you're gonna have to have a certain amount, certain amount of people around you you maybe have to be born with a certain amount of money and that may help you become a millionaire um but if you, I know this is what some people say though, you can't dream too low. I think if the only way you can dream too low, the only way you can dream too low is if you're dreaming out of fear, hear me out. If you set your sights to, I just want to flip burgers at McDonald's because I don't think I can do any better. That is not setting your dreams where they should be. You're, you're doing that out of fear. You don't want to go any higher than being a burger flip at McDonald's because you don't think you can. You're simply choosing the easier path in life. Now, if you truly want to be a burger flipper, and the reason I say that, and I don't even say that as a joke because I said once before in a video, I know a guy who works at McDonald's who loves working at McDonald's. It's, you see it in his face. He smiles. He puts up pictures of, on his Facebook. He's like, man, today at McDonald's was so great. Um, I really got to talk to all my coworkers and we had a great time. He likes working at McDonald's. He don't have no problem with that, you know? And so if you want to work at McDonald's and flip burgers and you don't care about <gasps> McDonald's paying you enough or you don't care about McDonald's treating you exactly right or you're being the top dog, you don't have much to complain about. You're just happy to have a job and you don't mind flipping burgers for the next 20 years as long as you get to go home to your family or your wife or you just go home to your dog and that's a content life for you. You got to understand, like I said earlier, I don't care about money that much. I need it because I know how to take care of my family. I know things are going to come up in life. That's the only reason I care about money. But outside like fancy cars and uh, big houses and thinking about that stuff, I don't care about any of that. I am very, I'm very happy with the house I got. I'm very happy with the life I got. Only reason I want more money is so I can pay off more debt so I can make sure that my family is taken care of. That's the only reason I want more money. But outside of that, you know, I understand my life is going to come with hardships and all those kind of things. But right now, at least for now, I only, 
the only thing I want my dream right now is to have peace because this last year of my life has been absolute terrible it has taught me that I used to get caught up and want to show off all my things show off how much I got show off all these things and now I realize that for at least for me my dream is just to be in peace if that's being in peace in a house like this which would be ridiculous but even if I were chilling at a place like this in a this was owned by a company you know this was just a place we went I could be happy there and be chilling but I could be happy chilling at my house in this little bitty town that I live in I don't I do things that do make me happier but my dream truly is to just be at peace when it's all over said and done and that doctor or whoever or something happens and they say it's gonna be it's over Trey I want to be able to say you know what I lived my life and I was at peace and for me personally the only way that can happen and like i said i know there's gonna be tougher times because i know i'm gonna have to go up against things and stuff like that but if i have peace within it all and i know i'm doing the right thing that's all i want that's what makes me so miserable sometimes and i told you guys this story my last video when i talked about living in fear right and fighting my demons that's what bothers me because when i do something wrong it bothers me like i don't feel good at all at all like for example you know you know being addicted to sexual addic being a sex addict for so long anytime i would give into sexual things it makes me feel terrible awful even when i'm just scrolling through the internet these days if i get through a picture and i see a picture that catches my eye that i wasn't planning on seeing but i go back up and scroll to it that doesn't make me feel good and if you obviously take that to the extreme it makes me feel miserable because it doesn't bring me peace it bothers me when i do something outside of my character that i know that god has given me i don't want to live my life in a bad way it's the same thing if i like pass up on let's say i didn't pay my bill right and they gave me a second chance i would still feel bad i like i make money but i like paying bills i like getting things done i like taking care of business because in my past i didn't care I would get mad at I mean, like I told you guys I've had my lights cut off I've been homeless I didn't care back then but now it would make me feel bad not because necessarily um obviously my lights getting cut off would make me embarrassed but at the same time it's like dang you know this company gave me six months to pay and I refuse to do it like it, it what I because this is what I have to assume I understand there's some companies out there that are corrupt. I understand there's some money gouging that goes on. But most of the people that I'm communicating with, if I'm talking to somebody over the phone about my electric bill, they're more than likely not an evil person. They're more than likely a person like me who just has a job that makes $10 an hour and they're working over the phone and they're just customer service. They're just a regular person doing their job. And so I have to think about that stuff that sometimes when I don't give money or I don't pay my bills, it does affect average people it doesn't affect just me it affects average people too it affects people who are also going to things people who also have jobs if i was to steal from somebody if i was to steal a hundred dollars for somebody that could be the hundred dollars that the landlord had told them they if you don't have this extra hundred i'm kicking you out that stuff matters to me i it's not it's, so to me it's not always about the action it's about who i'm doing it to i have to care about people so my dream is truly to be at peace with myself and my actions I want to make every decision I make to bring me peace, even though I know that won't always happen. I don't want to make decisions that make me feel awful because I know if I feel bad, it's because I did something wrong to somebody and I don't ever want to wrong anybody anymore. That's the same reason I let go of being a sex addict and being a porn addict and being a uh, drug addict because it was affecting people, making other people's lives worse because I was contributing in a way. Now, now, as far as dreaming about unrealistic, unrealistic things that I said earlier, if you want to dream about being a NBA basketball player, there's nothing wrong with that. But once again, you have to be realistic. If you're 5'4", the chances of you making it to the NBA. And I had an argument with a guy one time. I said, what if, what if you're 5'2"? They're like, no, you still have to believe in yourself. It's like, see, I think you're hurting yourself. That's not believing in yourself. That's being delusional. Okay, there's one thing to believe in yourself. When you want to live a dream, <laughs> the dream once again has to be realistic. But there is a way you can be delusional. Somebody walking up to you and say, "I'm going to be a billionaire," could they be right? Of course they are. Are there chances of them being right? Not more than likely. No. And here's another thing: when some people push back on that, they're like, "But people are allowed to believe whatever they want." Okay, fine, and I'm allowed to say what I'm allowed to give my opinion. 
if you tell me you're going to be a billionaire and i ask you how and you say just because i believe it that's not going to work you can't walk into a bank and ask for a loan and when they ask you about okay um what do you do for a living nothing uh okay so you want a loan for this much how well i just believe that i should be able to get this loan because i'm going to use this money for good how do you plan on paying it back with belief okay <laughs> okay it's the same thing like let's make this even more men let's talk to you real quick you go up to a girl who's super super attractive right she's the nine or ten right looks like the best looking women in the world i don't know why some people like zendaya but let's take zendaya or uh <laughs> somebody who's just really attractive so uh you take somebody and now you walk up to her you're my height you're short and you're fat okay you walk up to her and you're like hey uh i think we should date if she was to ask you why you should be able to get a date with her and you say just because i believe it even though you're short and fat <laughs> come on come on like it not even that if you're short fat and broke like you, you're not putting any belief in your life you're not working you're not doing anything you're not even trying to get in shape and you just expect to get zendaya just because you want her okay that's the same thing i have with oh, i'm gonna make it to the nba just because i want to uh well sorry only 4700 people have played in the nba and guess what there's way more people than that in america so the chances of you just getting to play because you feel like you should sorry it's just gonna be a little bit of luck it's gonna take it's gonna take some skill it's gonna take a little bit of luck some skill it's gonna probably know maybe probably who your parents are where you go to school how you grew up some things are gonna have to come into play and your height sorry you being five two probably not gonna happen brother now if that person who's five two says i want to be part of a basketball team that's my dream that's possible that's a realistic dream you could be five two and be part of a team you just want to be part of the nba right that's being realistic that's just the, and i'm gonna tell you all a foolish story to make this come back together when i was 26 years old uh i wrote out a uh, vision board and you know what i put on that vision board that i was gonna buy a subway <laughs> believe it or not i was gonna buy subway and i was gonna buy about 10 of them and i put that together and i ma started mapping out this stuff and I put together exactly how much money I wanted to make before I was 45, I think. And you know how much money I said that I would make before I was 45? $36 million. <laughs> Hallelujah! No, I wasn't ever gonna make $36 million because you know how I thought I was gonna be. <laughs> You know how I thought I was going to be able to do that? I thought I was going to be able to do that selling t-shirts and work out attire. I thought my business was going to be so big that it, what I thought was going to happen is I was going to get a million dollars. I was going to make a million dollars, use that money to buy a few subways. Those subways would in 10 years bring me $36 million and some of that would come with investments. Now, is that a realistic dream? No. A real and here's another thing i want to say before i shut up why don't you put some levels to your dream instead of saying i want to be a millionaire just say oh, well my goal right now is to make fifty thousand dollars a year if you can start there and build from there then the dream starts to become at least more feasible but like, i just want to get the skills to make fifty thousand dollars a year and then i'm gonna try to take that fifty thousand dollars a year and within a certain amount of moves have enough assets that match about hundred thousand dollars in about five years from there i would like to be making six figures and with that six figures i'm gonna live off of 20 percent of that the best i can use the rest of it to put into investments that will do this and do that and then the next five years after that i'll have a net worth of about four hundred thousand dollars based off the investments i made in that 10 year span that i've been doing all this and then 10 years after that the goal is to have a million dollars and be considered a millionaire maybe that makes more sense okay you you said oh i'm gonna set out to make this much money but use these skills i'm gonna invest in this invest in that it may or may not work out but at least that's a realistic goal and dream <sighs> just be realistic about it you can dream as big as you want but at the same time i want to say this too just because your dream doesn't come true doesn't make you a failure not all dreams come true 
we dream all the time when we go to sleep not all dreams come true the point is setting a goal giving it your best if it doesn't work out don't seem like a, you don't want to call yourself a failure the only way you can call yourself a failure is if the reason you didn't make it is because of your own doing like you your dream is to lose 100 pounds i like me i've lost 100 pounds but my dream is to lose another 100 pounds if i don't get there in the next i would like to do that in the next three years if i don't do that that's my fault you know if i don't do it because i decided not to eat well or i decided to go back to eating like i used to that's on me that's a dream that i could have accomplished but it's a lot different if i set out to win a marathon and i break my leg and i said i wanted to run a marathon in the next five years and i break my leg and i try to get back to it then i tear my achilles i try to get back to it and i tear my mcl you know that's unfortunate that's the stuff you try to do but sometimes your body fails you we see that happen with sports sometimes guys try to get back they have a dream of coming back within a year they rip something else we saw it happen with clay thompson so it's okay to fail at your dream because not it doesn't always come true some people they want to come back and play in the nba again and it never happens they want to play in the nfl again it never happens they want to get back with their ex-wife and be back with their kids but the decisions they made they will never be with their wife again and their kids are gone you can't control everybody so go out there and try to live your dream be realistic make a real goal but don't beat yourself up if life just doesn't put those things in your face okay don't let these people on instagram and youtube tell you that either you're a failure you didn't work hard enough or you can do whatever you want no just because it worked for them doesn't mean it worked for you and just because it didn't work for them doesn't mean it won't work for you you know put put your faith in there put in the hard work grind and get it okay youtube peace